Hello everybody, my name is Michael and I'm a graduate of the NUS 2020 Civil Engineering Cohort. My purpose today would be to share my personal take on the NUS CE program and encourage you to partake in this course. Let me first address that question that is in your mind. What is civil engineering all about? Civil engineering has everything to do with the built environment. We can potentially be part of mega projects to develop, design and build infrastructure such as airports, bridges, buildings and mass transit systems. Think of iconic infrastructure such as Jewel at Changi, Marina Bay Sands and Henderson Waves. Now, I chose to study civil engineering in NUS because of its quality of education and competitiveness of its degree in the global market. But putting that all aside, let me show you a glimpse of what this program might be like for you. In terms of student life, there are so many events that you can participate in that are organised by the faculty and student club. These include faculty camps such as CESE camp that will help you interact with your court before school even officially starts, CEE cohesion day, competitions, OCIPs and so much more. You could even lead these events in time to come by joining student clubs. As such, these interactions will help you create a neat community with your cohort and with the professors. In terms of academics, you will get to take a whole horde of interesting modules in different specialisations. You will learn how a building stands strong. You will dip deep into learning different types of soils, transport networks and hydraulic systems and learn how to manage these types of projects in an increasingly digitalised world. Of course, you can also choose to pursue interests outside of engineering by taking a major or minor in areas of business management, geosciences and even the design-centric program. The world is your oyster. Moreover, through the compulsory industrial attachments, students are able to explore their interests in the public and private sector, taking on consultancy, management and contractor roles in the built industry. To me, it was a very enriching experience that was unforgettable because we dealt with real ongoing projects. Now that sums up the experiences in school and in Singapore. Now what about life overseas, Ethan? Hi all, my name is Ethan Chu and I'm a fellow graduating senior of CE Class 2020. I'll be sharing my overseas experience with you through my involvement in Operation Orion and my student exchange program. Operation Orion is a student-initiated overseas community involvement project and has a long-lasting history with the support from the CE department. My trip in 2017 was focused on three main objectives with the kindergarten that we were working with. Firstly, we built concrete water tanks to store rainwater. Secondly, we renovated the canteen so that the students would have a more comfortable space. Thirdly, we also built a water cooler to dispense drinking water to the students. It was an interesting hands-on experience for me to build actual infrastructures for the first time as this was directly related to what we learned during lessons. Apart from overseas CIP, I was fortunate to be able to embark on a student exchange program to Canada. Concordia University had two campuses, one located in Loyola with a historic architecture and one situated downtown with greater accessibility. This student exchange program consists of many firsts for me. First time experiencing snow, first time watching an ice hockey match, first time snowboarding, and many others. Getting the opportunity to interact with friends from other cultural backgrounds and experience living abroad for a semester has groomed me to think deeper and become more independent. I'm thankful for these opportunities to help me discover myself better. Apart from the global experience, if you're curious to find out more about what NUS Civil Engineering has to offer, check out the website and the various social media channels for more information.